My name is Patricia Castillo Briseño. I am a marine biologist and also I'm holding a PhD in biomedicine. I am dedicated to apply physiology to assess the impact of climate change on animal species, especially aquatic animals. I'm a co-founder and one of the coordinators of the Ecuadorian Network of Women in Science, REMSI. And also, I am the president and one of the, the founders also on the national chapter of OWSD, which is the Organization for Women in Science for the Developing World. Uh, both organizations are engaged in promoting equity for the participation of women in science around the world, and particularly here in our country in Ecuador. When I was a child, I had the, the opportunity to have the access to some laboratories and the materials of experiments because my mom was studying biochemistry at the university. I was sometimes with her, accompanying her to the university and see the lab, see some of the experiments they made. It was really fascinating for me and sometimes even I was just like, leaving me to see some of the plates, to see under the microscope. And it was amazing to know that there is a world beyond our eyes that we cannot see on the naked eye, but with a microscope you can do that. And in the ocean there is also a lot of things we cannot see directly, but when you go under that, you know there is a lot of life under the water and I think that was the breaking point to say like I don't want just to be biologist, I want to go on marine biology and see what is under the sea. The opportunity to go abroad for me was also the opportunity to know other places and then it's also to have access to the technology. When I decided to come back to Ecuador, the first motivation was the idea to contribute to the science in the country, to develop science in the country. In Ecuador, I'm developing a research program that will engulf us the equatorial biome and ocean acidification. That is the alteration of the chemistry of the water due to the CO2. That is then affecting also the physiology of the organisms that live within that ocean. When we understand how the species are affected in their physiology, we can understand which problems can they have and they are able or they have the capacity to adapt. And if they not, to think in which measures we can take to mitigate that impact. Like in the case of the Pacific shrimp, this species is very relevant here in Ecuador for food, for production, for exportation, but also for the ecosystems because this is a native species. And this is an important part of the food chain also in our ecosystems. That is super interesting because that they are able to live in different ecosystems naturally. They have that physiological capacity to do that. And that can give us some light on how the animals can do that in conditions of climate change. Basically, on, on the face of climate change, we know that the solution is to stop the emissions, but until we arrive to that point, we need to understand how it is impacting and how are the conditions around, because not all areas are affected on the same level. Another approach that are important when we are doing science is also to communicate that science. So the idea to get communication is to get people more closer to science, also to make tangible that science is important in our daily lives. The need to involve all the community. And that means involving women, that means involving also the minorities we have in the countries and all uh, the diversity that has forming a community. 